Hello everybody, welcome to the Bison Coaches Corner. I'm your host Jeremy Jorgensen for episode number two of Bison Women's Basketball. The women had a great week. It's conference play. It's gut check time here in January. Uh, it's the dog days of conference play in the Summit League and we welcome uh, Martin Walseth and Coach, this is a tough time of year, isn't it? Just talk about that a little bit, how tough conference play is, not just the Summit League, but across the country, it is really tough week in and week out to win games. It is. You know, I think you're playing against familiar opponents, whether there's a new coach, it's the same kids each yeah. and every year. You know, and so uh, certainly what happened last year plays into everybody's mind, coupled with school back in session and the grind, and, you know, obviously northern half of the country it's not exactly ideal yeah. weather and travel and stuff so it is a grind but uh, the best teams both physically and mentally are the ones that succeed at this time of year. Hey you're in a great spot four and two in the conference uh, had a couple of losses in a row there but you got to win this week so a split overall this week let's talk about that first game at South Dakota. South Dakota won the tournament last year went to the NCAA tournament, so they have some confidence, they have some experience, and they're very, very tough at home, aren't they? They are, they are, they're very tough at home, and, and you hit it right on the head, they have tournament experience, uh, they're, they're playing very confidently, Amy does a great job with them, uh, and they struggled a little bit at the beginning of the conference play because they were on the road, so yep. they get back home, they get in their comfort zone, uh, and, and certainly they took it to us in that first half. I was proud of our girls at, at, in the second half, the energy and the effort that they came out with, it was just too much to overcome. How big of a learning lesson is that, uh, you know, that first half down there? Because you did win the second half, uh, but there was a hole dug in that first half. And how big of a lesson is that on the road that that is a tough thing to dig out of, isn't it? Absolutely. And that's stuff we have talked about before. And that's the growth and the progress and the maturity of our team. Uh, it's just baby step, 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 step. And, um, you know, certainly we've watched film. We'll be able to learn from that. And, you know, we get to go on the road again this weekend. Yeah, but they did learn because here, right here in this building on uh, Saturday, a great start, uh, a great uh, 40 minutes for your team, and you played well and beat IPFW. Yeah, I was very proud of, of the way we came out right off the bat, you know, came out much more assertive, much more aggressive, yep. and we were able to sustain that, you know, for 40 minutes. Talk about uh, the road now. Uh, I didn't even realize this, but 0-8 in true road games. Now, this is a key stretch for you with three true road games coming up, starting with Omaha. What do you think is the, the thing on the road that makes it so tough to win true road games? There is a couple neutral site wins this year, but true road games are tough, aren't they? They are. You know, you're going into somebody else's gym. Everybody plays well, at, better, better at home, uh, coupled with travel and some adversity that you may or may not be able to prepare for. Uh, so road games in any sport are challenging. Yep. Uh, but I like where we're going. I like the conversations that our players are having. I like how they're bought in and, and their eyes are big like, okay, coach, yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> you know, so I, I'm not nervous. I, it, it's not yep. a, a negative thing necessarily yep. in my mind uh, because of the enthusiasm of which they come to practice every day with. I thought the big thing this weekend was the fact that uh, you got points from other sources. Uh, you know, I thought on Saturday, uh, Kayla Beckin steps up and Taylor Thunstead. Uh, when your star players aren't scoring in college basketball, you need points from other places and you got that. That's got to be very encouraging. It is. You know, Taylor, Taylor, our freshman, has played well over the course of the year. Um, some games a little bit better than others. Uh, but we've kind of been waiting for Kayla to, to step up and do yeah. what she, we all know she's capable of. And certainly at South Dakota, she was much more aggressive. Uh, than she had been, got to the foul line and uh, whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then I think, you know, the home fans saw what they've seen from her in bits and pieces with, with her three-point shot going in. And she's just playing much more aggressive and with so much confidence. And that's, that's the key. You know, players can, can do whatever they want when they've got the confidence to do so. What do you think of this Omaha matchup uh, to start this long road trip? I think it's a good situation for us. Certainly everybody, as I said, plays very well at home, and then they're coming off of a win. Uh, so it'll be a good test for us. Uh, and then we go on to Western Illinois, and, and we've got another, another test there. Uh, two well-coached teams, yep. teams that are going to show us a, little, you know, a couple different things. Uh, so it'll be, it'll, it'll be all about us and, and what we do to prepare and, and how we handle those situations. You're almost one turn through the entire league. What do you think of the league so far? Obviously, South Dakota is in a very good situation right now. They did turn around and beat yep. South Dakota State as well so they're they're right at the top of the league right now they're 14 and 4 overall but overall what do you what do you think of the league through the first time through I've been, I've been very impressed with the league, and it's crazy all at the same time, you yeah. know, with, with basically anybody being able to win on any given night, depending on who shows up and matchups and locations and whatnot. Uh, but that's exciting. You know, across the country, everybody's getting into the heart of their conference season, and it is, you know, we're in a situation that our conference is kind of wide open. It is a grind, and, and that's exciting, and that's why we're all in this. Yeah, best of luck to you this week. Thank and you. Jack Michaels will have the call for you on the Bison Radio Network, and we'll recap both games on the road this week with Bison Women's Basketball here on the Bison Coaches Corner next week. Have a great week, everyone.